Hey guys, welcome back to Bioshock. So we finally got platinum and we're just cleaning up on the last remaining trophies now. If you go into the additional content tab on the menu, you've got these sort of three challenge rooms, they don't take long. We're doing them all in this video. And first it's the I in team, the I in team. And there's four trophies connected to each of these basically. And there's, there's one for completing it, there's one for completing it in certain time limits. There's one for getting all these sort of collectibles in it and there's normally a misc trophy thrown in there as well. So four trophies for each of these and there's three. And this is the first one, the I in team. All right, so to begin, make sure you change your difficulty to easy. It'll make this much easier. And for this first one, you could probably get every trophy in one run, but it would take a lot of practice. So we're gonna split it in between two. And we're going to do a speed run in a second and everything else in this first one. So these crates, the crates in this, these little square boxes, they have like a key item, like a crafting material you need. And there is your first rose. So there's four roses in this level, guys. And make sure you're looting all these little crates that I am. Like I say, they have in, uh, crafting materials that you need. You'll find Eve and some health items on there. You may want to grab another crate there another crate here. We're gonna jump on this frozen big daddy and on that crate is the target dummy plasmid. Plasmid, yeah, this is very difficult on high difficulties by the way, so um, you can get killed very, very easily. And the first few trophies, the main one, we need to make sure, you've seen them to it at the back there, make sure none of them get destroyed. You can't destroy them, but if you go too close, the rocket turrets on the top to our right, they may destroy them. And what you see here, what I'm doing with this um, dummy, I'm sort of lobbing it in front of me, and you don't want to just spam it down, you want to sort of lob it, run forward for a second or two, then lob it again, because the moment you lob it, there's like a a brief, like a, there's about a second when the turrets are sort of re-aiming, the turrets are like re-aiming on them, and then that gives you a chance to put it down again, and basically it gets the turrets trapped in like a loop, where they keep re-aiming. So that's what I do with the dummy to get across there. Lob it down, run for a second or two, lob it down again and like, like I say it will fall the turrets because they'll keep trying to re-aim and it, it lets you get across. But do not go too close to the machine gun turrets otherwise the rocket turrets will destroy them and we need to keep them all left intact. Now we froze that big daddy, you see that rose there? You need to jump across and get it and you actually freeze him and use him to jump to that crate as well which we've done already. So yeah, it's a bit, it's a little bit of a tricky jump this one. Um, you can wait for him to unfreeze and let him go a bit closer to it if you want. There we go, got it that time. So that's rose number two, guys. Rose number two. And if you noticed back when we got that, um, we got this plasmid, this froze, well, winter blast plasmid. We got this, there was a press plate before it. You have to lure the big daddy onto it. And all them crafting materials we've got, you go to that, once you've got them all, you go to your invent machine you craft the auto hack tool and you can hack that machine and it will open the door here. Now you need to let the rockets destroy the big daddy. Destroy, but do not freeze him. If you freeze him, he will not drop any loot and we want him to drop the loot. You'll find out why in a second. So do not freeze him. Just keep lowering the, uh, put a dummy down next to him. So when the rocket fires at the dummy, they hit the big daddy. But remember, make sure you don't put rockets too close to machine gun turrets. Now, once you looted his corpse and you've got his grenade launcher from him, you're going to come over to the sort of middle um, little alcove at the top there and try and lob some grenades and you should see that um, debris fly down. And basically it's this turret and it's got a rose connected, it's got a rose inside it. Yeah, so that middle sort of chamber at the top, just shoot grenade grenades up there until the sort of broken turret gets launched down to near you. Then turn around and loot the rose from it. That would be rose number three. And here, lure the big daddy onto that pressure plate and then freeze him a few times. Yeah, if you freeze him a few times, he stays frozen for a bit longer. So that's what you want to do. And then once you froze him a few times on that pressure plate, sprint down here. And the last rose is in there, guys. And the pressure plate before opens that. Do not interrupt the big sister, uh, little sister even, until you're ready. And they, then there you go, guys. Interrupt little sister. You get Lem trophies, one for rescuing her. One, one for completing it without destroying the machine gun turrets and the other one for collecting all of the roses. Now we're gonna do it one more time, but now this is gonna be a speed run. You gotta do it in three minutes. Three minutes. 
and like I say, if you if you practice a lot, you could do this all in one. You could, I think you can. I think you can. I think it'll be tight, but I think you could do it all in one if you practiced. But just keep it easy. We're doing the speed run by itself because then you don't have to worry about the machine guns getting destroyed, and you don't have to worry about collecting the roses either. So back down there, remember you're just grabbing all the loot from the containers. You always need to loot them to grab containers because you need that to craft the um, automatic hacking tool. You need that plasmid. Okay, I fell down. Yeah, you need the um, target dummy plasmid. Try not to fall down because only idiots fall down. I've never done that. And uh, so back up here, I've got to run across a to uh, turret gauntlet in a second. So in that first... In that first attempt, I actually place it down both I came steps. But you can just do it this way. As long as you're quick, they shouldn't get a chance to target you. And these turrets, they kill you so quick on high difficulties, by the way. Yeah, that's why you want to do this on easy. So we're going to get him to step on that. Should open this door. There you go. Winter Blast. You need the Winter Blast anyway because you need to jump onto the um, Big Daddy from near the start. Press that switch to open the door. Back through here, just got one more crate to loot, then we can craft the automatic tool, get the big daddy killed, and then rescue the little sister. The big daddy has to be killed because otherwise you can't rescue the little sister. Yeah, so there we go, we froze her little daddy. And we're gonna go back to the U invent machine now, craft the automatic hack tool. There we go, we've got the ingredients we need, so we're gonna craft it. There we go, lift, lift the switch, we'll hack it first and then lift it. Here he comes, little daddy and the big sister. So let him get killed. There you go, my enemy has now become my friend, the turrets are on my side. Once the big daddy's killed, after about five seconds, oh no, yeah, I fell down. Yeah, when the, when the turrets have been destroyed, uh, sorry, not the turrets, the big daddy. Once the daddy's been destroyed, the turrets will sort of disarm yeah after about five seconds once he's dead about five seconds later all the um sentries they disarm so you don't have to worry about their gunfire that's it and then interact with the little sister and there we go you get the item team expert yeah that's for completing it in under three minutes yeah so there we go guys that's the first dlc and i'll see you on the second one so we're doing the second challenge room now guys a shocking turn of events and this one's going to probably take a similar amount of time. It's a little bit more to this one. I mean, the, the level is bigger and there's a little bit more to collect. But it's the same sort of um, approach again. We're going to do it in two runs. You could do this all in one run. It, would, it could be a little bit easier than the first one because you could actually do the speed run on this first. Make a save just before you rescue the little sister. Do the speed run and then load that back up and then get all the collectibles. So you could do that this way but I'm gonna do it in two in two goes so first of all as soon as you start guys turn around and kill yourself yeah we're gonna start this by killing ourselves what a great start it really gets your confidence going so once you killed yourself you spawn at the Vita chamber pick up the first aid kits loot the body grab the shotgun and get the electric book now if ammo, ammo wise here it's gonna be very very important you're just gonna have enough so do not waste anything you need all your electrical stuff all the electrical stuff that you find you're going to need. So we're waiting for this lift to come up now. We've got the um, shotgun, we've got the electric book, and we use the electric book to open the door on the switch. Now we dropped on that elevator. Your first rose is here. There's 10 roses on this one. And there's four trophies on this again, guys, um, but I'll explain them as we go along. Your second rose is here. So you come back down the elevator. There's a switch at the top where that rose was, and you come back down on the top. You've got a tonic here, static discharge. You got a key crate. Them crates with the light bulbs on. They've got a key item in them. And on this corpse, we've got a trap bolt, which we are going to need. And then a jump down here. If there's anything I'm not collecting, by the way, it's because we don't need it. So anything that I collect, make sure you collect it. Now we're going to lure him over here to this Ferris wheel. Basically, you've got to electrify this Ferris wheel nine times and press the switch nine times. But we can. To press it, you have to electrify it, then it will let you press it once. There's an electric book just next to it. 
and we let that enemy actually hit us next to it which obviously set off static discharge gave this some power and then we can use it once so if you use it once that's pull the ferris wheel down one and then we're going to use that electric book we just found shoot it do not shoot it straight away wait until the sort of um it turns off so you can actually electrify it again we're going to come in here we loot that crate and you've got a third rose just on top of that painting in the toilet rose number three come back out here with that enemy let him hit you near the switch and use it that's it that's wheels turn number three and we're going to head over here now into rapture records you got a crate here with some glue inside and you got a, your fourth rose there rose number four and then after that we're going to come out go left and come into the grand carnival another crate here and in this um, little sister hole there's a rose hidden in there these roses are hidden really really well uh, this telekinesis plasmid on the floor there then we're going to come into this back room we're going to loot this crate down there you got glue and a battery inside and this broken electric safe just interact with it and then all these traps will spring just grab one of them from the wall uh, put it into the safe and it will open it inside is the crossbow now you can use the corpse to set off all these um, traps that's it and you can keep it with him basically we're going to have to get him on fire and use him to defrost this ice and then drop him down the hole if you find the body a bit tricky to make him fall down the hole then you can get one of the teddies just back in the fairground if you find it a bit difficult with the body because it is a tight fit it's a tight fit but it will just get down there there he goes and that will melt, that will melt the ice down there so you can get electric book and a automatic hacking tool you got to sort of um, use your telekinesis and pull him up through the hole there you go it's a little bit awkward we can just do it and then up here there's a rose up there rose number six invented supplies you got some more supplies there in that crate then you come out here and you got a rose in one of these barrels there you go that's rose number seven and they're going to pick up a hook lob it at a balloon this one here to get a rose from it and loot that corpse next to that rose because he's got another trap bolt inside him that's rose number eight come around here there's a crate and you've got a chemical flower a chemical throw it yep and come over to this room keypad is you got one nine five one one nine five one my, my birthday loot that crate and then up there there rose rose number nine that's it rose number nine then come back outside did not use any ammo on these enemies we need to save the we need to save their death space well we've got to let them attack us and use static discharge you're going to come over here you're going to hack the u invent machine and they're going to craft electric gel and a trap bolt and we're almost done. So you hack that U-Vent machine, then you craft electric gel in trap bolt. If you don't have enough materials, then you've missed something. Now we're going to lure that enemy over here, and then we're going to use static discharge to power the Ferris wheel again. There we go. Press the switch. Right, and we've got a thing we need now. We've got all the ammo we need. You've got to do it six times to finish, but nine times for a trophy, and seven times for a rose. So we're just going to use the trap bolts and we're going to use the thrower, the electric gel in the thrower. You should have three trap bolts. There you go. Yeah, to set off the trap bolt, just lob it at the switch, stand there, and after a second, you'll set it off. Just watch your health. You, don't, you do not want to kill yourself. Yeah, once you've done it, seven, I think it's seven times, that cog case will fall off. You can get the last rose. So that's rose number nine. Find, uh, sorry, number ten. Find all of the hidden roses. And then once we complete the level, we'll get the trophy flat. So you just want to do it nine times because that's like a misc trophy for doing this nine times. There we go, master electrician. Well, not really, we completely destroyed it. But come over to the little sister rescue her and you'll get all the trophies connected to that yeah if you if you wanted to do all these at once you could do the speed run um you could do the speed run first uh but just before you're about to rescue her save your game rescue her get a speed run then load that game back up then you can just go and grab all the um roses and whatnot and do the rest but we're doing it in one in two playthroughs guys so this is the speed run now that's all we're doing the speed run so quickly turn around kill yourself 
Grab the shotgun, the electric book. There we go. So we only need to get enough to power the first wheel six times now. Only enough to power it six times. So we're going to come over here on this broken table, drop down here, and we're going to get statics discharge. There it is. And we're going to get his trap bolt from his corpse, just like we did before. Then jump on this table, jump down here, and we're going to get the attention of this um, perp with his pipe there. Doing a bit of window shopping. Pick up the electric book near the switch. Lure him to his demise. There you go. The foe has turned once. One out of six. And then we're going to shoot it with the electric book once it goes back offline. Once it loses power. There you go. Once it loses power, don't waste a bullet. If it's got power, you'll waste it. So just wait for it to depower. And then once you've done that, done the second turn, we're going to come in here, get the attention of that enemy. And we're going to do him as well now, her even. You probably notice I'm not really looting crates that much now because we don't need to do it nine times. We've only got to do it six, so we don't have to get everything. That's it. Once you've done her, got her to um, electrify it, you're going to come around here and grab telekinesis. You're going to come in here, grab the crossbow. You've got to do this in four, four minutes, I think it is, for the speed run on this one. There you go, interact with this and then the traps will spring. Just grab one of the um, arrows in the wall. That's it, grab the crossbow. Out here. Uh, we just want to get that trap bolt now from this um, enemy hanging up. Well, it's not an enemy, so it's not, he can't really move, he's not doing anything. Just laying there. It's just propped. And then once you've got that trap bolt, you're going to come over here, 1951, remember my birthday. Put that in. And we're going to let that enemy follow us. That's all we want. We want that um, woman to follow us. And uh, over here, she's going to be in for a bit of a shock in a second. There we go. So let her attack you. Enable static discharge. There we go. She has been electrified. We can now push the lever down. So let's do that. Let's pull the lever down. And we've got all our trap bolts now. So we can just shoot it. There we go, that's one. And one more, and we're good. Yeah, so what we did, we used three enemies. We used the electric book, and we used two trap bolts. That's six times. And just talk to little sister now, rescue her. You're welcome. Bless her, she's been trapped up in the sky for all that time. Can't believe it. They're just close, completely forgot about it, just left her up there. But I've rescued you, don't worry. You are safe again. Just whatever you do, do not go on Ferris wheels. So that's it guys for the second DLC and now onto the third and final one. Final challenge room finally, and this will be the last of the trophies for Bioshock. This will be 100%. So we're doing Worlds of Hurt, the Worlds of Hurt challenge room. And you want to make sure you choose medium difficulty or above. Very important because there's two trophies here. If you're not, if you are not on medium or above, you will not get them. And but there is a little trick. You can't do like you do in the main game where you, you switch difficulty at the end. On this, you have to start on the intended difficulty to get a trophy. But once the game loads in, you can actually decrease difficulty. Yeah, try and be a badass there by starting on Survivor. And we need to do this in 15 minutes, by the way. We do all trophies here at the same time here. Just make sure you do this in 15 minutes. So, yeah, just start. Make sure you start the game on medium or above. Then once you start, decrease difficulty to easy. Uh, then come down here, guys. Get the wrench. I've got a gun. Do not use any firearms. There's a trophy. You can only use plasmids, tonics, and your wrench, I believe it is. There's a rose there, rose number one. And you're going to kill this enemy, and then you can interact with the little sister. She'll give you a gift, and then the portal will open. Basically, this is all. This challenge is all combat. You've got like sort of eight rooms or so, and once you killed all the enemies in that room, you can interact with the little sister and move on to the next. This like little hub area. So first, gatherer's garden. Uh, thing we're going to buy from there is the wrench jockey. Yeah, do not buy anything else from the garden for the time being. 
Then we're going to come over to the vending machine and we're going to buy some film. Very important, we're going to buy some film. And probably you just want about 15 or 30 film. And then we're just going to buy some Eve and some first aid kits with what is remaining. Yeah, we want to get Wrench Jockey too. So we're going to take some pictures of the bouncers. Um, so we get that Wrench Jockey number two. So your second rose is down here. Very weird to see. I don't know who found that, but that's where it is. Rose number two is in the water. So we're just going to try and get some pictures of him. Yeah, we're about to finish the game. So we just want to get some memories to keep. So it's getting some pictures, and then once you've got them, you can come down here. Because you can only use your wrench, it's going to take a quite a long time to kill, even on EC. But if he comes in here, he sort of gets knocked out, and the electric, fight, the electric will stun him occasionally. There you go. Yeah, I just lure him down here, and he can loot his body afterwards. And then because you kill the last enemy in this area, you can get the gift from the little sister, and then go in the portal to head back. Yeah, every time you interact with the little sister, you normally get some money, some Adam. And basically there's a rose in every combat area by the way. So come over vendor machine again and we just buy some Eve and some first aid kits. And Gathers Garden, we're gonna buy incinerate number two. Make sure you buy that very important guys. Incinerate number two. And we're also gonna buy human inferno number two. So incinerate two is very, very important because you actually need that to get a rose. And we're gonna come into the turret one. You can look at the pictures just above the doors and then it shows you what enemy is inside. So we're going into the turrets. The turrets, um, because there is some ice in here and this is where you need incinerate, but it's also another big daddy. And I'll come into this one um, now because we can get wrench jockey two now and they can do more damage quicker. But if you come in here later, it's gonna be a bit later until you can get wrench jockey. Well, not later, but you'll, um, there he is. We just got um, wrench jockey two from uh, getting level two with the um, bouncer research so we don't need to take pictures no more just come in here kill the turret master and all the turrets will despawn and that ice just behind him is where the rose is but I'm just going to kill this big daddy first so if you set them on fire that will actually knock some of the health down at the same time while you're actually hitting them and then once he's dead yeah get that rose that was ice before by the way you probably saw me I quickly defrosted that after I killed the guy of the turret, the turret master. And then once you kill the big daddy, you can come in here, interact with the little sister, get your gift, and go in the portal, go back to the little hub area. There you go, no wrong way. And uh, we'll just buy some few more things again. So you don't, yeah, you don't worry if you need to use high from Eve's and first aid kits, you can just keep buying loads. So we're gonna come down here into the garden now, and now we're buying static discharge, and we're gonna replace photographer's eye with that because we don't need it no more so security discharge we just bought and we're also going to buy eve saver yeah so security discharge and eve saver we just brought and we're coming here now the spider slices yeah that's the enemies with the hooks that would be the picture above the door so we'll get another rose in here as well you've got a spider slices yeah the with french jockey number two you'll kill these a little bit quicker if you set them on fire by the way on EC, fire with the um, human inferno ability as well, the tonic, which makes do more damage. That will kill them all. If you leave, if you leave them to completely burn, that will kill them. You don't have to attack them like I am. You can just lob incinerate and then run away, and they'll be dead. I think there's there's five or six spider slices on here, by the way. I think I think it's five or six. It's normally one or two around here. I've just set that one on fire, then we're gonna come right round to the back here where the rose is. There it is, just under this bench. If you go to where the little sister is on this, then follow the wall to the left, and that will take you round to where the rose is. So there's one more spider slicer. You know there's another enemy left because the little sister door will not be yellow. But when it's yellow, that means you've got every enemy. So I'm just gonna loot that big daddy there. Yeah, yeah, she will die. There we go, just died. There you go. So yeah, will take a gift. Thank you very much. And we'll just stock up on some Eve and some first aid kits. Nothing else we need to buy from the Gatherers Garden. I don't think I'll buy anything else, actually. So um, I guess, yeah, we're going to security turret maze now. Security turret maze. 
yeah I guess if there is anything else you want to buy you can uh, with Adam so I don't think I really buy anything else I did try this with every single plasmid and tonic see what was best and nothing really there's not really anything that breaks this so I just I just stick to this way yeah I just stick to this way so you've got all these turrets to destroy now and the rose it's nicely tucked behind that machinery there the pipe work there we go just tucked behind there you can sort of jump on it and you can sort of move your cursor until it's on it and they can sort of just collect it so you've got all these turrets make sure you get his turret tucked in there that flamethrower turret come around here there's a big daddy we need to kill if you go behind this big daddy the turrets will kill that when they try to shoot you by the way so there's another turret hidden in that little alcove there yeah I thought I'd die then <laughs> So another turret there. Yeah, just run around getting the turrets. They're the ones you might miss, the ones sort of in the little alcoves. There you go, just get rid of the big daddy now. He's uh, distracted at the turret. And there you go. Yeah, once you've got them all, you'll be able to interact with the little sister, get your gift. And back to the central hub. So, yeah, I bought Enrage. That's what I bought Enrage. You don't really need it. Um, yeah, so I'm just stocking up a first aid kit. It's typo. I'm going into the Big Daddy one now. Yeah, you, you don't really need Enrage. It helps a little bit with the um, all kinds of Big Daddies uh, combat room. But, yeah, it, it's not really needed. There's basically four Big Daddies in here. And you can use Enrage to set them, uh, set them attacking each other. But it doesn't work really well in Rage. I mean, I, I find it it does wear off a bit quick here. Um, but I guess it does help you a little bit. There's four in here. Basically, there's two Roses and two Bouncers. We'll get rid of them qu uh, first, and then we'll get the Rose. And what, what I do, guys, as well, I, I put all the Rose locations, I put them in the description. So there won't be timestamps for this except for the trophies and the rose locations. Yeah, that's what I do in the um, little um, in the description for this. So yeah, there's four of these. Yeah, they are very annoying. I did like say I did try everything on these, and because you're using a wrench, nothing really makes them easy. You just gotta take it. I mean, obviously, if you try and get certain trophies, you'd have to probably be a bit more strategic on this. But on EC, uh, sorry, if you're on a high difficulty, I mean, you'd have to be a bit more strategic. And then some other plasmids would probably come in handy. Um, but I just do it, I do it like this. Yeah, I, I guess you could use Enrage and you could wait for them to kill each other. And then at the end, there'd be one left standing. But obviously, I just want to do that, get rid of them quicker. So the Rose is down the side of this little broken beam. And it's still alive. Yeah. There we go, Rose is just down the side of that beam. There you go, Rose number six. There's two more combat rooms left. And they sort of and they sort of have a bit of combat in the central hub at the end. So we've got a gift from little sister. And then back to central hub. And we're going into all kinds of enemies. Yes, yeah, an assortment in here, a little pick and mix. Yeah, have everything here. The Houdini bit on this is a bit annoying because there's quite a lot of Houdinis and um, they just spawn all over the place. Yeah, so all kinds of enemies. So there's the Nitro Splicer. There's the there's Crazy Surgeon. The turret, that's gone. There's the Big Daddy. I guess you could use some Rage there if you wanted and set him on the other enemies while you're um, trying to kill most of them. So get rid of that weird looking perp. And the rose, it's just behind the sandbags at the corner at the back there, guys. Behind the sandbags. You can see there's the little sister hole. So it's left just from the little sister hole. Another nitro. And another random enemy there. Big Daddy's still chasing me. There you go, there's a Houdini. And there's a leadhead. There's oh there's a Houdini. 
The Houdini's on this, um, similar to Spider Slices, one Incinerate 2. If you hit them with Incinerate 2, that will kill them. It will kill them, so... They spawn in the distance, you're not going to get to them on time. Just burn them, and leave them, and that will kill them. So that's all the enemies dead. So you've got one more combat room, and then we've got a combat in the central hub, and then we're done. Yeah, so you got to do this in 15 minutes for a trophy. Yeah, 15 minutes, so... um. You can't hang around too long. You can't hang around too long. But what what he can do if you do it with a wrench and you don't do it quick enough, as long as you get a trophy for doing it without your plasmid and uh, without using uh, firearms, then when you do do a speed run, if you have to do another playthrough, then you can use firearms on that one. Assuming you already have that trophy, and that should make it a little bit quicker for you. So it's Houdini's on this one. But if you see any on your way down, try and set them on fire, because that will kill them. Yeah, so there's one. Set it on fire, and it, it will eventually die. Another one down there. The rose on this level is quite tricky to get, because you sort of have to drop down to it. And it's quite easy to sort of um, miss it, if you sort of get caught on a... Uh, if you collide with some, some of the um, uh, scenery. Yeah, so you see that... Just down there. There, you, you got to sort of try and run off this, but try not to catch anything. And there's the last rose. Yes, yeah, so you just got to try and run off. Try and run off at a similar angle to me. And as long as you don't catch anything, you should land down there. But if not, just make your way back up the stairs and try again. And then once you're to the bottom, guys, just need to try and kill all the Houdinis now. Yeah, so just keep moving around and they will eventually spawn in. There's one. I think there's probably about eight. I think there's about eight of these. I've not actually took time to count them. I've tried, but um, I always lose count and I've not I've just not tried again. So um tried to get a better number. Yeah, it's about eight. Um, but I got most of them on the way down. Yeah, if you can get most of them on the way down, that's great. Because on the way down they normally a lot of them will spawn always in the same place. And then once you get to the bottom, it gets a little bit more random. So once you've done all the combat rooms, all eight, you come back to Central Hub and then try to interact with the little sister's door. And then the room will go dark. And uh, you'll get ambushed. Basically, a load of enemies will just spawn around the area. Just wait for them. You normally have two or three spawn at a time. You normally get... Yeah, two or three spawn at a time. So when they spawn, look for a few more. Yeah, should be one more. There it is. So I think we've got three lead heads. And then a, it's it, three spiders. Uh, sorry, three, three thugs first. Then three spiders. Then you get three lead heads. And then I think you get three Houdinis. And then you finish off with a big daddy. Oh, we've got a Nitro there as well. And yeah, this is the Houdinis. Yes, it looks like a Nitro spawned in with the um, lead heads. Yeah, so once you've got three Houdinis, yeah, you'll get a turret guy and. Wait, two turret guys, or is it three? Should be another one somewhere. Yeah, you get three turret guys, well, the bot spawners. And then you got a big daddy. Just one big daddy spawns, and then once you've got him, that's it, you can rescue your little sister. And as long as you've done it within 15 minutes, guys, and you started it on medium or above, and you got all the roses, and you didn't use any firearms, you should get all the trophies, all four trophies. Yeah, I made a little save there just in case something don't pop. I can uh, just quickly load that back up. So I don't want to spend all that time doing all that again. Yeah, so just let her down and rescue her. There you go, tough guy. Yeah, that's me. I'm a tough guy. Expert. I'm an expert tough guy. Rescuer. And final one. That would be 100% trophies. There we go. I'm an expert tough guy. Who rescues and collects things. Yeah, that's me. Yes, yeah, so that's it guys. For all hunt trophies in Bioshock. I hope you've liked this guide. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you on the next video.